The Metro Wastewater Reclamation District serves 1.8 million customers over a 715 square mile area in Greater Denver, Colorado. The district operates two wastewater plants, the larger 220 million gallon per day Robert W. Hyde Treatment Facility and the new 24 MGD Northern Treatment Plant. Since the 1970s, the Robert W. Hyde Treatment Facility has been using pure oxygen activated sludge to treat nearly half its daily flow while a state-of-the-art treatment process in its day, changing nutrient requirements and regulations are driving public agencies like the district to find new answers to treatment challenges. The district has been planning for greater nutrient removal since 2004, when it hired Corolla engineers to design modifications to the North Secondary Complex. As part of that project, Corolla introduced a novel carb side stream treatment process capable of removing 85% of return ammonia loads at half the cost of conventional treatment. CARB also supercharges the main process through bioaugmentation. Several years later, Corolla again helped the district with design and construction of the South Secondary Biological Nutrient Removal, or BNR system, to replace the now obsolete pure oxygen technology. The South Secondary improvements required initial demolition and clearing of composting warehouses to make way for the new BNR activated sludge system. Corolla modified half of the pure oxygen facility at a time so the plant could remain in service. The new 114 MGD South Secondary Treatment Complex consists of six parallel aeration basins, filling the space of three football fields. These massive basins took 74,000 yards of concrete to build, enough concrete to fill a sports arena 125 feet deep. The aeration basins receive oxygen from a large blower building capable of producing 145,000 cubic feet per minute of air. Five high-speed, high-efficiency single-stage blowers are driven by 2,000 horsepower motors, sending air to more than 53,000 membrane disc diffusers. Specially designed walls and anaerobic anoxic zones provide nitrogen reduction and, in the future, will remove phosphorus from the wastewater stream. The new process offers the flexibility to operate under a variety of advanced configurations, allowing the district to accommodate current and future treatment requirements. The facility also includes a state-of-the-art 280 million gallon per day pump station that lifts primary affluent to the new aeration basins. Each of the five 56 million gallon per day pumps is powered by its own 450 horsepower motor. The main power distribution center is the hub of the plant's central nervous system. Miles of wiring is routed through a roller coaster of cable tray to supply power to treatment processes, monitoring equipment, and even the lights and climate controls for the administration buildings. Piping and equipment galleries feed each aeration basin and controls flows to treatment zones to create high quality affluent for reuse or disposal. To save on capital costs, Corolla repurposed the old oxygen aeration basins to serve as a new sludge return pump station, which splits return flow to the rehabilitated clarifiers for further treatment. Prior to new plant operations in 2013, effluent ammonia ranged from about 9 to 15 milligrams per liter. After startup, effluent ammonia dropped to less than 1 milligram per liter. Similarly, effluent nitrogen ranged from about 10 to 20 milligrams per liter, dropping to just 3 to 5 milligrams per liter with a new facility in service. Simply put, the new BNR process has reduced effluent nitrogen discharge to the South Platte River by more than 4 million pounds per year. Besides a need and desire to protect the environment, the district's modifications are consistent with the five major trends in the wastewater industry, which includes nutrient reduction and recovery, energy conservation and production, intensification, sustainability, and community enhancement. In recognition for the district's stewardship of the environment and its innovative use of technology, the district was awarded the prestigious 2017 Grand Prize for Design by the American Academy of Environmental Engineers and Scientists. The extremely low unit construction cost of less than $1.50 per gallon provides an example for other Rocky Mountain Front Range communities who are faced with increasingly stringent nutrient requirements. And this project will serve as a benchmark for public agencies of all sizes across the country and around the world. At Corolla, water is our focus, our business, and our passion. Being part of innovative treatment projects like this affirms our commitment to our clients and our communities and helps us move closer to our goal of working wonders with water.